On today's episode of Learning, we're going to show you how to make a graphic using Adobe Illustrator. And then we're going to show you how to take that graphic and put it into After Effects. I'm Bobby. I'm Brian. And you're watching... <laughs> Okay, Brent, so here we have a little graphic that we did of a little scientist right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I saw this yesterday on our episode of uh, Thomas Driving Future. Oh, yeah. Out. Episode five. Go check that out, that guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we used this guy in our little video, and you might have noticed if you saw that graphic that we made him move and animate a little yeah. bit. So we're going to basically show you how to create uh, a little character like this. And we're going to show you how to build it in Illustrator mm -hmm. so that you can take that file and then import it into After Effects and animate it later. Cool. So let's just uh, focus in this episode on the Illustrator file and how to make it. Cool. So we're going to start with a brand new slate here on brand Illustrator. New. And we've done a few episodes in Illustrator before. So in Illustrator, it's a little bit different than the softwares we're used to using like Premiere and After Effects. This is more of a vector building software. So we're gonna start off by naming our layer here, and we're gonna name this layer body. Cool. So when creating a Illustrator file that you're going to use in After Effects to animate, you have to break it down into separate layers based on uh, ligaments and parts of the animated body that you want to later move around. Okay. So basically we're going to start with just the body. The torso. The torso and the legs. And then we're going to create arms and a head. Cool. So let's get started. So for the body, we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool. And we're just going to drag it out here and that'll create a nice little shape. And this is going to be a very basic uh, little graphic here. So we're going to fill this in with blue. Nice. To start. Now, let's zoom in here by clicking our control and space bar and dragging our mouse to the right. Let's select our rectangle here and we're going to create no outlines. So we're going to make sure it's just one flat solid fill. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of stylistic properties to this rectangle by selecting our A key on the keyboard and that'll bring up our node selector. And we're gonna select this node here in the top left. And we're gonna hit our shift key on the keyboard and our right arrow twice. Okay, I see what you did there. So we moved it over. Okay, shifted over a little bit a to little the right. Bit. We're gonna kind of create a little bit of a trapezoid here. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. We're gonna select it and we're gonna hold shift. We're gonna hit the left arrow twice. So that's created this sort of little, like trapezoid shape. Okay, yeah, I see it. So we're gonna select our two top nodes here and we're gonna grab this little circle. See that Brent, it's that little circle right there? Yeah. And because we have these two anchors uh, selected, uh -huh. if we take that little circle and click it, we can then drag it inward. Okay, and you're sort of curving the edges there. You're sort of curving the edges. I like that. Okay, so there we have it's like our you got little basic shoulders torso. there. You get some shoulders on that torso now. Yeah, we got little nice little cute little shoulders. And then a baby's shoulders. Okay, so we have our torso. Now let's create our pants. Okay. So we are going to hit the M key on the keyboard. Gotta have some pants. That'll bring up our rectangle this tool. This is a family show. <laughs> so let's grab our rectangle tool here. And we are going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. And we're going to start by dragging it from this corner. And we'll drag it maybe about that far down. Okay. Now let's change the color to a khaki brown. Something, okay. yeah, like it's that. A, it's a, that looks like a nice slack, a nice pair of yeah, slacks. I like it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically want to take this shape and make it a little bit more, we're going to create a curve right here. Okay. Sort of like the scientist that we did. Oh yeah, I see it there. Create it's almost, that little curve. like half of an egg or something. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's start doing this by grabbing our pen tool. And we're gonna go down here and right where we think that the uh, feet should start, we'll create a anchor. And let's also do that on the other side here, okay? Now we have two anchors. Let's select our curvature tool. Oh yeah, there we go. And if we drag this up, Oh, hey now. Bam. Now we got some sweet 
washed chinos there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that cut. Now we're nice also, tapered cut. What we're also going to do here is we're going to take our selection tool again by clicking our A key on the keyboard. And we're going to once again hit our shift and right arrow twice. And same thing on the left, twice. Okay. So we'll sort of bring in the pants a little bit there. There you go. So that's sort of our torso shape. We can also quickly, before we move on, add some shoes. So let's just use our uh, rectangle tool again. And we will fill that with a dark gray. Let's take this same exact rectangle, Alt, click, Shift, and then drag to keep it on that straight line. And then we'll zoom in just to really line it up the right way. Cool. Okay. Now let's create our head. So the first thing that we're going to do before we create our head is we're going to go down to our layers and we're going to create a new layer. Yeah. Now let's double click on it and it'll open up our name changing properties and we'll call it head. The old dome. Dome All right. piece. So you can tell which layer you're on based on the outline color. So this layer right here, you can see this little label is blue. Mm -hmm. So all the things that are selected here are blue. Now if we go to our head layer and create a circle by going to our shapes here, going to our ellipsis tool, ellipsis. and dragging it out. That's a big dome. You can see that it's now covered in red outline. Yeah, okay, I see that. So let's keep the head right about there in the middle. And let's make it a nice skin tone color. We got a nice dome piece here. Got a nice little dome piece. And let's zoom in and we'll start creating our head properties. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move everything down a little bit, just to center it a little bit better. Give us some space to work with. Okay, <coughs> now let's take a look at the scientist. Let's take a look at how we did that guy right there. So for the scientist, he's wearing glasses. And we gave him this nice little do right here. Yeah, he's kinda got my haircut a little bit. He does bit. kinda have your haircut. If we, if we made my it black, haircut. then it looks like you, Brent. Yeah. All right, so let's go back and We'll do something sort of similar. Let's uh, create our pen tool. Let's uh, select it by clicking the P key in the keyboard. And we're gonna click, and we're basically gonna start making a shape for the hair. Just do a nice little basic bed head, messy shape, shout out to Lucas. Yes. And uh, that's looking pretty good to me. I like it. And then we'll come up here. I'm liking the style. I like this guy's style. Yeah, this guy's got a nice style. He's got a sick got style. That European style right there. That's sick. And uh, let's fill this in with a, I don't know, Brent, what would you say? Make him have black hair? Sure, yeah. So let's zoom in, and now we're going to select our L key on the keyboard, which will bring up your ellipsis tool. And let's, uh, let's do some eyes here. So we'll drag out a little black eye here. <laughs> and let's alt, click, shift, and drag. And there we have two eyes. Now, we can bring this in the center a little bit more by dragging it until the uh, ruler line pops up there. Cool. Which is nice to have on. You can turn that on in your preferences. There we go. And we're gonna go for a flat design, so we're probably not gonna give him a mouth. Now that we've created the head, let's create another layer, and we'll call it left arm. So let's select our M key on the keyboard, or our rectangle key, and let's drag out a little arm shape here. And we will hit our I key on the keyboard to make it the same shape as the shirt. Now let's drag, let's uh, click the rotation tool here and let's drag it down a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna use our curvature tool to add a little bit of curve to the arm. We're just gonna drag it out a little bit like that. And Let's see if we can place it a little bit better on the body here. So let's place it right about there. It's right under the shoulder. Now we're going to create a hand. So basically the way that we're gonna do a hand in this tutorial is we're gonna do something very similar to this hand right here. So let's go back and we'll copy that hand sort of. So we're gonna use our pen tool to create this sort of little hand shape here. Like a little mitt. Yeah, he's, like, he's got like little mittens. He's got little mittens. Little mittens. Little mittens. Little mittens. All right, so now let's create a new layer. And we will call it right arm here. Now we're going to take our left arm. We're going to control C, copy it. We'll go into our right arm layer and we're going to paste it. Now we're going to take this and we're going to line it up with the left arm and we're basically going to turn it and flip it. Okay? 
to be about the same shape. And let's drag it right on the other side here. Alrighty. Alright. Little mittens. Now, I'm noticing little mittens is a little bit wide, so we can actually take everything here and let's, let's just shrink it in a yeah. little bit. No judgments here. Slim right? them down a little Listen, bit. Listen, no judgments No here. judgments. We just wanted little mittens to be little. Alright, Bobby, so we got our fancy little lad here, our little mittens. But I don't really understand. How does this, now that we've made it, how do we get into After Effects? Well, Brent, we're going to show you that in our next tutorial. You can oh, click the link right there. Woo! Cliffhanger! Cliffhanger! <laughs> we just wanted to split these videos up because we didn't want you guys to be too overwhelmed. Yep. So we're going to start with showing you this. And you can click on the card up there to check out our next tutorial mm -hmm. on how to take this character and animate him in After Effects. So cool. check that out. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. So go follow the storyline and <laughs> see where Little Mittens goes. What happens to Little Mittens? I gotta know. You gotta figure it Look out. Look at Little Mittens. Little Mittens. He's so cute. He I love is little cute. Look at Little Mittens. He's so cute. Oh, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I've been Bobby. I've been Brent. And you're watching... What the government wants you to say. Basically anything that keeps you poor. What? <laughs> Learning with Bobby and Brent. Brent is a puppet today. I am. A <laughs> puppet of the state. I've been a I've been a puppet to the government for a long time. I mean, I've been hinting at it for basically a year now. Yeah, I know. Conspiracy, spirit, conspiracy theory stuff. Conspiracy spirit stuff too. It's in my new flavor yeah. of gum. Conspiracy, conspiracy spirit. It's a spearmint flavor with a touch of uh, deceit. So. See that? That's that's the Bermuda Triangle right and the all-seeing eye. Oh yeah. One and the same, baby. And here we also they, have... They are watching you at all times. Kemp trails. Kemp trails. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> okay. So that's looking pretty good, I would say. What do you think, Brent? I'm liking it. I'm liking this little fancy boy we got going on here. Yeah, he's kind of wearing the same outfit you are like right me. now. Like me. I'm wearing... I'm... Blue shirt. Nice, nice khaki chino. Yeah, look at this. Whereas I'm dressed like a bum right now. I'm wearing like... Gym pants. I put like a nice shirt on over it, but <laughs> if you could see my gym pants right now, I really look like a bum. <laughs> Did you borrow that sweater from the gremlin by any chance? No, we just both shop at American Apparel. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's how I met him. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. You and the gremlin met at American Apparel. Yeah, we were going for the same sweatshirt actually. Oh, and wow. I was like, oh, you can have that one. It's not my size. And he was like, oh, thank you, sir. Oh, man. Did you guys like hands like touch? Just, just a little bit, and I felt the charge. There was, yeah. there was an energy force you knew there. There was that, something. In there you. was something extra there, and after that point, we were connected. It was like he, he gave me the mark, like the Night King did in Game <laughs> of Thrones. Sorry, spoilers for He's Game of Thrones. Left his mark on Brian. Spoiler alert for Game of Thrones: the hey. Night King mark. So good. It's been a while since we talked. It's been a while.